Okay, so there's uh, the Ace of Rods coming in for you. So there's some kind of new relationship coming in, uh, or uh, maybe an, even an offer coming in. It's a very passionate offer because this is the Ace of Rods. It's going to add, a, you know, a new uh, sense of uh, energy into your life, and even uh, a new sense of passion into your life. Uh, you know, make you bring in that happiness that you have been looking for. You can see this person's blowing through these um, pipes and a lot of rainbows are coming in. Uh, so, you know, it's going to add in a lot of energy and a lot of happiness coming in for you, uh, make you feel young again and, you know, make it you feel like this is your first love. So a lot of uh, new energy coming in over there. You have been healing from that relationship there. You've got uh, that uh, star card over there. So being... You know, you've broken off a relationship. You can see the chains are gone over here. And you've got that caduceus going through the center of this person's uh, heart chakra there. So definitely a lot of healing has come in for you after going through a very, very difficult breakup. Uh, and you are grounding yourself now. You've got that base chakra. You are now stable. You know your energy. You know your power. And you know your worth as well with that base chakra. Now, in the past, you had the Eight of Swords over here. You were feeling very helpless, very tied up, very anxious uh, about what had happened. You, there was some decision that you had to make. Uh, you know, there might have been legal issues as well that kept you bound up. Uh, and you were very, very stuck in that particular uh, energy. It looks like enlightenment has, has come in for you because you've got that sunrise over there. And uh, it seems like you may have gone out and started meeting people there. There was a need for you to open up. Uh, this is the Four of Pentacles. Keeping everything bottled up uh, was not working. So it looks like maybe now you've gone out there and started meeting people as well. Because there's somebody new that is coming into your arena. Now, going into the future, you've got Take the Lead and you've got Love Abounds. So, uh, you know, this is about uh, taking control of that situation. You know, don't uh, wait for things to happen. Be proactive, uh, manifest it, and also, uh, you know, be somebody that um, who does things, who takes control of that situation. So if this person is a bit shy, maybe you are the one that needs to make the approach as opposed to them making the approach towards you. So maybe there's somebody that you are very, very interested in um, and you're going to be meeting them, uh, you know, on a social um, uh, uh, arena. Uh, so it's, you know, going out with the friends, meeting uh, somebody new. And it might be that you need to make the first move rather than them doing all the work. And it looks like it's going to bring in that new love. So love abounds. This is the Ace of Cups. So that new love coming in for you. So you need to be the person that takes charge or you the need, need to be the person who goes in there and makes the first move uh, in order for you to manifest this new love. And it looks like it's going to be something really good with the Ace of Cups. That heart chakra being activated over here. And maybe you all have a very, very strong soul connection that comes in as well. So uh, a new relationship coming in. You've gone through a lot of healing. The chains are broken. Uh, but you need to be the one that makes the first move in this particular situation. So those are the energies for that. those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Ludi Lescott Tarot. Right, you've got the sun card over there, so a lot of clarity and enlightenment coming in for you. You can see that stained glass window is completely broken and it's allowing the sunlight to come through. So you've gotten closure, you've gotten clarity on this particular situation. Uh, you're very independent, you've been very, very focused on your work, it seems, at this particular moment. Uh, and working very long, late hours as well. Uh, but, you know... Um, this is about being successful as well. So you've been focusing a lot on that career, it seems, and getting that success. But as far as that relationship came, that you were in, a lot of clarity came in, uh, and you know you understand yourself a lot better after going through that. You went through quite a difficult period, it seems, um, you know, where you had a lot of uh, loss. Uh, this is the Five of Pentacles. Uh, you know, there was that breakup. There looks like there was a financial breakup as well. You can see this man's walking away from this woman. So there was a lot of loss that you went through, and there was a separation or a divorce that went through. 
and there seems to have been a financial loss as well. And also a loss of security. So you may have even lost your home uh, within this. You may have moved out uh, from living with this particular person. And, uh, you know, it looks like they've turned their back on you or you turned your back on them and left that particular situation. It seems like you're focused a lot more on your work. Uh, this is uh, the page of... Um, uh, pentacles over there so it looks like you are very focused on your work you might be doing study uh, you know page of pentacles is, is um, an earth sign card so this is about you being very uh, you know spending a lot of time by yourself and spending a lot of time with your books or with your work and not really paying attention to anybody else and this is because you've been through such a difficult breakup. Maybe you had to re recuperate all the financial loss that you went through but you definitely lost that relationship but it seems like things are about uh, you know, changing for you. The Sun card is usually a positive card, so all that negativity is leaving, uh, and you know you're coming out of the dark and back into the light again. You're, uh, you know, you're healing from whatever you went through. So you walked away from a relationship with that Eight of Cups over there. It seems like you left everything behind. That relationship was not working out for you. It was a long-term established relationship. You may have put a lot of work into it, but it did not work out for you. So you seem to have turned your back on it and left. It was a very dramatic loss and you know like like i said you could have even lost your home lost possessions you can see even that ring is falling out of the window over there so this was the end of that marriage but it's a very very dramatic ending there could have been a third party situation something that you thought that re relationship was about turned out not to be that at all so uh, you know there was a lot of illusion uh that was um uh, destroyed. So you, where you thought this, uh, you know, there was a lot of uh, loyalty. It seems like all of that has been destroyed with that tower. Everything's up in smoke and in flames over there. And it seems like you know you you had to leave it uh, very quickly. You had to leave that relationship very very quickly. This one's just you know. Uh, taking a risk and jumping not knowing where she's going to land so it seems like you know uh, things had come to light over there and you had to leave that relationship pretty quickly it was very dramatic there was a separation uh, a, a very um, dramatic ending to that particular relationship and both of you seem to have abandoned it completely and walked away from it and it left you with a lot of loss as well and feeling very very insecure as well now, you have been trying to manifest your own independence, manifest your own emotional stability. So you've been working very hard on yourself and trying to start something brand new over there. You've got a lot of admirers around you. People are really impressed with how you manage to get through things. But you are spending a lot of time by yourself and you are uh, you know, focusing a lot more on your work as well or focusing a lot more on yourself. So going to the future, you've got the Six of Rods over here. So this is about, uh, you know, victory after difficult, um, you know, situations. It looks like there are offers that are coming in over here with that. Uh, she's got hands full of flowers over there. And with the Six of Rods, it's about, um, you know, a triumphing, uh, tri being triumphant after a difficult situation. So all these battles that you've been through, you are going to come out uh, victorious. And it looks like there's offers that are going to be coming in for you there. Now, you've got um, the justice card over here. So you're still dealing with legal issues that you have uh, from that relationship. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, you, you're still maybe waiting for judgments to be pending. Um, it looks like that has come, uh, that will be coming in for you as well. So you could be, you know, trying to just uh, sort through, uh, you know, the endings of those legal issues. You've got a wheel over there. So uh, change has come in. Big changes have come in for you. And you're still feeling pretty lonely. You're dealing with all these legal issues. Uh, it might be feeling as so, you know, you don't have any strength to actually get through it, but you will be able to sort through things and end this relationship. You can see even with this, um, you know, the, ace, uh, the six of rods over here, where she looks so despondent here, uh, you know, like everything has fallen to pieces here. Now she's coming out victorious and she's standing up and walking with her head, uh, her head held high. So, and she's carrying roses. So it looks like the universe will be giving you gifts and you will be able to overcome whatever these problems are. Now you've got your financial independence and your own independence as well. So this is coming into your own and making plans for the future. So the Nine of Pentacles, there's also lots of roses at her feet. So maybe a lot of offers coming in over there. And there might be some news coming in over here. But you're definitely, uh, you know, you've, it seems like you're a very financially independent person. You might have bought your new home or, um, you know, you're earning pretty well at the moment. So focusing on that career and focusing uh, on your own self-worth as well. 
So in your hopes and fears, you've got the hermit card. So you're still, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself. Maybe you're not really happy with that, uh, but uh, you know, a lot of information coming to light for you. But also. Um, um, being very focused on spiritual growth as well and focused on your work as well. So that's the hermit card uh, in your hopes and fears. So the final outcome going to the future, you've got that temperance card over there. Um, you've got uh, the six of pentacles and you've got the queen of pentacles. So this is about healing and trying to find balance and, uh, you know, getting over a situation. There might be somebody that has got their eye on you as well because you've got this woman with a cup in her hand and somebody hidden. So somebody is uh, definitely keeping an eye on you. You have a secret admirer over there. And, there, and while you're looking for new love, it looks like there might be there might there are two people in this particular card. So there might be two people that are really interested in you and that you are not aware of. Uh, and maybe they, you're looking for um, maybe uh, you're looking for love in the wrong places. So she's got her back turned to these two people. She's not aware of them, but they are there. And it looks like they have got their eye on you. Maybe they're keeping their feelings hidden from you. But it looks like there might be some, uh, you know, somebody around you, or uh, two people around you that are very, very interested in you. It looks like you've got to lay that past to rest as well. See, there's graveyards over here. So get over this relationship and open yourself up for, for a new relationship to come in. And maybe they, will, they won't be so hidden from you uh, in the future. You are very, very focused on family and your finances as well with that Six of Pentacles over here. So you may have children. Um, this is about being focused on their finances. And you're keeping to yourself. She's got that veil on, so keeping yourself hidden and not allowing yourself to go out. So you may need to socialize a lot more uh, in order for you to open the door for something new to come in. There's a wishing well over there. So you are wishing for something to come in. You're wishing for that stability. You can see that background over there and that security. But you're keeping very much to yourself and focusing maybe on family a lot more, focusing on children a lot more, and trying to heal from this particular situation over here. Um, you've got uh, the, uh, the Queen of Pentacles over here, which is your card. So you're on top of things financially and, and uh, emotionally. You're, you know, earning very well. You're in charge of things. You're sorting through things, um, but spending a lot of time by yourself. You're focused a lot on that career. And if you're wait waiting for a relationship to come in, you might be, uh, you might uh, need to be the one that goes out there and manifests it. So, you know, these people are hidden from you. If you admire them, you might be, uh, you might uh, need to be the person that makes the first move or shows them that you are available for a relationship. For the moment, you are very, very focused on that work, keeping a lot to yourself, and you're not really opening up yourself for a new relationship right now. And maybe this is why you're not getting a new relationship coming in. So if you want that relationship to relationship to come in, you do need to uh, show people that you are available. So, uh, you know, increase your um, um, go out to any kind of social events or go out to, uh, um, with friends um, and, uh, you know, show people that you are available for a new relationship if that is what you want. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. You've got the King of Ariel over here, which is your card. And says, your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success, using resources wisely. So this, is, again, is about being very, very focused on um, your career and on the money and about, you know, uh, getting um, successful. Uh, and it seems like you've taken relationships and giving it the back seat. Uh, so this is about you also getting, ach you know, achieving success as far as your work goes. Now, you've got the five of Michael over here. So the situation doesn't uh, serve you. Release your attachment from the outcome and consider taking a more uplifting approach. Now, with this uh, five of Michael, this is about maybe sorting through any kind of legal uh, problems that you've been going through. This may be, uh, you know, uh, closing down uh, any kind of legal issues. You could have gone through that divorce, and this is a rounding up everything over there. Uh, and, you know, whatever that outcome is, you may just need to have to, you know, walk away. You could still be having some conflict with your previous partner. That still might be going down with that five of Michael over here. Maybe you feel as though they have, uh, you know, justice has been served, but it's not fair, and it's not gone in your uh, favor. So that could well be the case. And then you've got the ace of Michael over here, but even though you're feeling as though justice has been served, and it's not being fair. That Ace of Michael shows that you know you will be a winner in this particular situation. So it's a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder you. Clear up communication problems with others. So whatever is going on around you, you need to communicate clearly. But it also is a card that says you need to break ties with the past completely. 
uh, make a clean break and whatever legal issues you are dealing with, you will be victorious in it. So uh, uh, an outcome coming from that particular legal um, problem. So uh, getting over any kind of battles that you're going through on a legal front, but also a need for you to make a clean break with the past. Financially, you're on top of things um, and, you know, uh, success is coming to you from the work front over there with that king of Ariel. So if you do want to start a new relationship, you know, you are victorious in whatever you're going through at the moment. Uh, you are healing from it. The judgment is made uh, there um, with this card, the justice card. And with the ace of Michael, it shows victory. So whatever legal issues you've been facing, you are going to be sorting through it, and you will be victorious in it. Financially, you're on top of things in your career-wise. And if you do want a new relationship to come in for yourself, you need to go out and, um, you know, show people that you are available for it. It looks like there are people that are interested in you, but you might be taking some time off to heal uh, before you make any kind of commitments. And you are very, very much focused on family and focused on that career at the moment. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.